so totally forgot to film the beginning of this. Um, I have made this on my channel before, but it has been a hot minute. Um, but all I'm doing here is I'm just kind of toasting up some orzo, um, letting it get a little toasty, and then I will add in my um, water and chicken cubes. But I am making um, spinach parmesan orzo, orzo, spinach and parmesan orzo with um, some chicken tonight for supper. So this is Luke. Luke loves this, and I haven't made like I said, I haven't made it in forever. So I'm just getting it all toasty. Um, letting you know so you can see kind of some of the colors are changing um, but before this I just put um, butter some garlic and some spinach with a little bit of salt in here and I just heated it up and cooked it um, and then that's what it came to and so I've got that to the side and then I'm gonna do this and then once this is cooked I will add it back in and then we'll add some Parmesan cheese and it is delicious so Whenever I go to add the next thing, I will. And then I'm just going to bring it to a boil and then we will cover it and let it cook. Turn the heat down and it is going to finish cooking and then once it's done um, I will put in the spinach and parmesan cheese. Okay so I just added in that spinach mixture the orzo is completely cooked. I just tasted it. I've got the chicken in the air fryer. This recipe looks complicated, but it's actually not. It's really easy. So I've got that all mixed in, and then I'm just gonna add, I think it says like a half a cup, but we're just gonna guess. Can't go wrong with cheese. Here is my bowl. I'm not that hungry, but I've just got a little bit of orzo and then I got a piece of the chicken. So this is my dinner for Monday night. We'll see y'all back tomorrow. <laughs> I just pulled supper out of the oven. Um, I watched um, Kristen um, Steps video, I think it was yesterday. Her what's for dinner and she made this pork chop um, casserole with rice and it looked so good. So I roughly followed that. I didn't have the, some of the same ingredients that she did but I just used what I have here. And it smells really good. Um, I used a can of cream of chicken and a can of um, the cheese. The content. What's it called? The can. It's with all the canned saves but it's a cheese one. Cadence cheese is that what it's called um i use that and then i use some of that um uncle ben's garlic butter um parmesan rice so now i've got pork chops under there so it looks really good and then i've got some green beans with it i will show you my plate when i get it plated up so here's my plate i love green beans so i got a bunch of green beans and then the pork chops look good. I'm able to cut them with a fork. So this looks so good. I will um, leave a link to um, the video that I watched to get this um, idea. I'll leave it in the description box. But I love her channels and what for din what's for dinners. She does really good. But I'm about to eat lunch, eat supper. I'll see y'all tomorrow.
here we go everybody it is just i just pulled it out of the oven um i cooked it at 350 for about 30 minutes um you just want to make sure because everything's cooked just make sure that your crescents at the bottom are done meet the cheese is melted so this looks super good so we will give it a try i'm fixing winston some noodles because i know he won't eat this and then i've got some steamed broccoli from aldi so this is our dinner when i plate it up i will show you my plate here is my plate for wednesday night it's got some broccoli and then i've got um some of the frito chili pie um, i showed you all how to how i made this so i hope you enjoyed watching that but this is dinner for wednesday night we will see y'all back tomorrow Okay, so I have drained the pasta, and now I'm going to um, make the sauce. I'm going to add a whole block of cream cheese, and I'll also need some milk. I'm going to add a little bit of ranch. I'm just going to add it and taste because I don't want it overpowering, but you still want to be able to taste the ranch, of course. add uh, some liquid like dressing ranch if you want to um, if you don't have the powder I'm gonna add some milk in there I'm just gonna let that cream cheese melt. And then we'll add in um, the chicken I just took out of the bag and I cut it into smaller pieces. It was, you know, like strips. Uh, but you can use this kind, you can use, um, like you can cook your own chicken. You can use a rotisserie chicken from Walmart or wherever, but I had that in there, so I was wanting to use it up. But I'm just gonna let this melt, and then I will come back when it's time to add something else. I don't like the consistency of the sauce, so I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken just to help kind of tie it all together. It just helps make it creamier. And see that looks better. Looks better. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my chicken. Then I'm going to add in some bacon. Of course, you have to have bacon. This is from Aldi, and we really like it. Um, I'm going to add in the whole package. Then I'm just going to mix it together. I have it on low heat, just so it won't scorch, but it will keep heating and letting everything melt together and be ooey gooey. And deliciousness I normally don't cook a side with this just because it's kind of like you know pasta meat all in one protein side you know but you could put any veggie with it so I'm gonna let it 
let it finish heating up, make sure everything's well heated, the chicken and everything. And then we will add some mozzarella cheese. And I will taste it to make sure that the um, the ranch is good. I don't want it, like I said, I don't want it overpowering. But you still want to know that it's there. Give a little bit more. And that's why it's easier, you know, you can always add more of anything, but you can't ever take out. <laughs> so I always just start with less and work your way up um, for most of stuff like this, like seasonings or anything, it's just easier to do it that way. Like you don't want to add a bunch of salt because then your dish is just going to be nasty and salty. But if you add a little bit at a time, taste it then you know when it's good okay add some more milk and I'm gonna go get the cheese Cheddar Jack. This, this sounds good. This is mild cheddar and Monterey Jack combined. So I'm going to add some of that. Probably about 34 cents of that. This would also be good if you. Um, made it like in a casserole dish and topped it with the, you know add put cheese on top and then you could top it with um, crackers it would be good or breadcrumbs okay so I'm gonna let that cheese finish melting and then I will show you my plate whenever I get it plated up here is my bowl for Thursday night this stuff is so good. Um, I did add some sprinkled Parmesan cheese and mixed it right at the end, but it's all heated through. Chicken, bacon, ranch, pasta. We will see you all back tomorrow. On Friday night, we just went out to eat. This is one of our favorite Mexican places here in Richmond, but I was happy because I didn't have to cook.
just finished the carrots and so now I'm putting in the crescent rolls. I just sprayed some spray um, on the bottom and then I just set them in there. And then they're gonna cook them. Um, I don't have like an exact temp or um, you know, whatever to cook these at. Um, I just kind of put it on like one of the lowest and then <clears throat> I will just keep coming back and checking them to make sure that they're not burning at the bottom or, you know, but last time I did these in here, they were amazing. Luke said they were so good. So do these again in that way. I don't have to turn my oven on. Hey everybody. So here is my plate for Monday night. It was really delicious and we really like the crescent rolls cooked in the air fryer. They're a family favorite now. But this is actually the last meal on this video. I hope you enjoyed this Dean Dinner video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.